is a video um, trying to explain how uh, how to get the mods set up for Cyberpunk 2077. Because uh, when I first started, I was super duper freaking confused. Um, one of the ways to do it that's a little bit easier is using the Vortex Mod Manager. Uh, Vortex Mod Manager does help; makes it a little bit easier to uh, a little bit easier to manage getting started. Um, I think it's supposed to dummy proof the whole situation. <clears throat> Let me actually see if I can find that. Vortex Mod Manager. I didn't spell that. I did not spell that right. Yeah. So here, right here. So you download the latest version. So Vortex Mod Manager. This is supposed to kind of dummy proof it uh, to where it makes it easier for you to download the mods. Sometimes it does. Uh, sometimes, in my opinion, it doesn't because uh, what will happen is you'll download a mod, and that mod will get put in here. You'll see it. It'll it'll pop up in here, and you can uh, disable it, enable it, so it pops up in the game or whatever. But one of the things I notice is that for some mods, it won't actually pop up in the game. It won't actually, you know. It won't actually activate. It won't work. And what I found out is that if you uh, download that, uh, what can I say, the easy way, it will end up out here, outside in the in the uh, not necessarily in the game files. Actually, let me show you guys how to get file explorer. Um, to get through the game files because I I had a hard time trying to figure it out manually there is a way to do it through vortex um, if you do have your game in vortex you can go here and it says open game folder so this will jump you right into your game folder um, that's one way to do it but if you don't have that and you need to find out where your game actually is located for me mine's is uh, program files 86 uh, Steam Steam apps Common These are all of my games here that I have set up. This is my game uh, This is my Cyberpunk 2077 Just click in here And voila you're here. This, these are the game files. So uh, One of the things I noticed was that Whenever I would download, for some, not all, every once in a while, uh, a Vortex, uh, a mod through Vortex, what will happen is it, the trigger will be in here for you to install it, enable it, disable it, and all that good stuff. But the actual mod wouldn't be in the mod folder. So it would be out here, just kind of floating out here, chilling and not working. And it's not supposed to be out here. So sometimes I would have to manually take it, go into archives PC and then uh, go into my mod folder um, there should be a mod folder in here if there is no mod folder in here just create a folder and name it mod and uh, these are all my mods so I had to manually take the mod and activate it I had to put it in, in into this folder myself to uh, to get it to get it to work in here and then I could I mean you can hit the toggle switch out here all you want. It didn't really do anything <laughs> because it wasn't really managed necessarily, even though I I downloaded it through Vortex. So, like I said, most mods uh, seem to work through here, but some of them didn't quite work that way. But that's how you get through that. So, anyway, uh, third person perspective was what this video is supposed to be about. So, hang on. So before you can get the third person mod, you have to download Cyber Engine Tweaks. This mod right here, Cyber Engine Tweaks, it allows you to open up the uh, console command here, Cyber Engine Tweaks. And you want to download uh, this bad boy. So you go to Files, and you can download it through the, the Nexus Mod Manager. Which is, that's what I did. That's actually how I got this one. This one does work. Not sure why those pants didn't work. 
So you can download it through there, or you can download it manually. And you can just, you just hit slow download. I'll go ahead and hit it. I've already got it, but I'll go ahead and hit it again. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. So it pops up in your downloads, right? Bam, there it is. And what you want to do, where are we at here? We're in the mod folder. Where is my downloads? You want to go to downloads. So yeah, it pops up in here. And uh, of course this bad boy ain't supposed to be out here. This, this patch 23? Hang on. You got that beast in here? That beast is not in here. Is that in patches? Oh no, it's not in the patches, folks. Where is it? We got in there. So yeah. Anyway, uh, you download it, but anyway, what what ends up happening here is that you see it's in downloads. Uh, not for this bad boy, but the other mods. If you download, uh, if you download the the mods, what you'll do because this is zipped up. That's compressed. You gotta, yeah, you gotta decompress it. But anyway. When you download uh, a mod, it'll pop up in your downloads, and you got to take it out of your downloads. Basically, go into your game files, Cyberpunk archives, PC mod folder, and you want to drop it into your mod folder. That's how you manually uh, get it set up in the game, and then your mod is set up. It's in the game. You can just boot the game up and and you know start running it. Uh, but yeah, you need Cyber Engine tweaks first to to be able to open up the console. And then you go and you download the third person. Yeah, you go and download the third person mod, JP TPP uh, mod. You download this bad boy, and you do the same thing. Um, you can manually download it, like I said, or you can go through uh, Vortex mod. Uh, so it'll pop up. I did this one through uh, Vortex. So mine's did pop up. I didn't have to manually do anything in here. I just, you know, popped it up in here, and that's how mine is running. So basically, the problem that I ran into was after I did this, one of the things I noticed is I didn't see anybody explaining what do you do, uh, how do you actually activate it, how do you turn it on afterwards, which uh, that's the part that extremely confused me and I was not able to get my third person active for a little bit. So what I figured out, hang on, this intro is a little bit loud. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can skip past this. But anyway, one of the things I figured out basically was that um, you have to go into the menu. Come on, G. I want to skip past this intro because this thing is like super duper freaking loud. It's like overly loud. All right, there we go. So um, one of the things I noticed is that once you get all that downloaded, you have your cyber engine tweaks installed and you have your third person uh, mod installed. Um, you you can't just activate it. You, can't, I mean, you don't really know how to activate it, so how the hell are you going to turn it on? Basically, the deal is you want to hit the tilt key. The tilt key opens this menu right here. This is Cyber Engine Tweaks. And you want to go into binding. So you have to bind it to a key. Thickness, that is crazy. Anyway, you have to bind it to a key. So mine's is binded, see? JB third person mod. Activate, deactivate third person. Mine's is binded to the B key. And uh, to next camera viewpoint is uh, binded to my G key, but that's basically how you set that up. This is how you this is how you actually activate it in game. So this is activated. This is toggled on and off through the tilt key, and you can bind the uh, third person to any key that you want, whatever you feel feel comfortable with. But yeah, you can you can switch uh, perspectives with this. You can be in the middle. Uh, you can be over, over the shoulder to the right or the left. Uh, you can flip it 
to where you're pointing at V. I mean, it does kind of invert the freaking <laughs> the the, the uh, controls a little bit, but you can do that. So anyway, I just wanted to try to break it down as best I possibly could because I realized that some of the mods, uh, some of the descriptions about people were trying to explain how they set up the how do you download and set up the third person mod left pieces out. There are points that just di they didn't make sense, and some people just didn't tell me like the key binding part that was not there. Nobody nobody ever said anything about that. Um, I am very new at modding, so I might just be stupid. Um, you know, learn something new every day. Um, and this part right here. So the key binding and the downloading manually, and going to the program files 86, uh, Steam, Steam apps, common finding my actual game files manually uh, and then manually going in to uh, archive PC and mod and dropping my uh, my new mods into my mod folder to activate them. That's something that uh, I didn't really get a description of. Nobody really said that. So that's why um, I wanted to make this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. If you didn't, uh, you know, thumbs down. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.